Hey guys, this is Crazy Tater here. Gonna give you a tutorial on this medieval rustic house right here. So let's get started. The things you'll need are some support beams, the logs, a darker kind of wood, it's stairs and it's slabs, and the same for a lighter, as well as cobblestone. You're gonna need doors, fences, and some kind of window. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna put a support beam down and go three spaces over, and on the fourth one put another support beam. You're going to do the same thing and make a square. Now what you want to do is repeat the squares until you have the shape of your house. I'm going to go with just a small L shape. The next step is to take your cobblestone and outline your whole house where your walls will be. The next step is to take your, your support beams and add a 2 in height to it. And do that for each one. The next step is to go ahead and add in your floor. You can use whatever color you want. I'm just going to use my light wood for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and for the bedroom I'm going to use a half slab of the same wood just because it helps when you add a bed. It looks like a bedroll. It gives a slightly higher proportion. And then right here, since it's going to be a bedroom, I'm going to add some cobblestone for the walls, the walls, and then a spot where the door would go. Now add your spot where your door is going to go. I usually put one on the end of a wall for, because that's where we're going to put our arches. Now put your steps. Now we're going to begin with our arches. And what you want to do is have, from the top of your first support beam, you're going to go diagonally in and up to, and up to again. Until you have an arch. Now you're going to do the same thing for the other face. Next you're going to want to also add some extra faces over here for the turns to make it look normal. As this you can see I have a big room that goes sideways and then one that connects off of it. You can do it that way or you can add another face just like this. This way it's like two long rooms that intersect. Now just take whatever the lighter wood color that you've got and outline underneath all of the support beams on the front because this is where your door is going to sit. I'll just go ahead and throw one in. Now on all the other faces you're going to add your darker wood and leave a two block gap because we'll decide about windows. Now what you want to do is on if you chose full blocks for your floors, you're going to put them on put a block on the bottom half because your window will sit eye level. Whoops. But down here, you want to put it on the top if you use chose half slabs because it'd be somewhat eye level compared to being up here. Then you can throw in your windows if you want. I'll go ahead and do that on one of them so you show you I'm using scaffolding with a ladder. I think it looks a lot better. Next thing you want to do is work on your walls and for this we're going to be using stairs of the dark wood. We're going to be using upside down and regular stairs to create a different pattern than a flat wall. I think it looks a whole lot better. You're going to do that for all the remaining walls. Now you should end up with something like this. Now we're going to start on the roof, which is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. We're going to start with an outline because it's going to be a multicolored roof. And you're going to make sure that you extend it out one because we're going to have an overhang. At the corner I'll just throw in a full block so since we don't have corner stairs. Now this is the part that's pretty different. Is What you're going to do is once you have your first your outline that's equal to the top part of your wall, you're going to go up diagonally one and you're going to add a stair on top. And that's pretty much the only difference between that and a triangle roof. So it'll look something like that. And you just repeat the same thing on all the sides. I'm 
right here there's going to be a collision because it's a corner. So we're just going to leave that out for now. And now that we've got our outline done, we can start by adding in the filler color, which is the second kind of wood. And it's the same exact thing, a stair with a stair on top of it. This is a whole pattern. <coughs> Using full blocks in the corners just to give it that extra look. Now that we're all done with that, looks like we're almost done. Next thing we gotta do is add our lining on the top. For this, we're gonna use our wood that we that we chose for the outline. We're just gonna pretty much put slabs over the whole thing. You're not supposed to put blocks underneath it, but I'm just gonna do it for so I can get faster. So I'm not able to. Okay, now that we're done with the top of the roof, we're going to extend each of the pieces we just added by out by one more. And now that that's done, we just add our upside down stairs. And this back corner, before we said it didn't match up, just add a slab right there and that should match it up okay. And then finish it off with bone meal. Okay guys, thank you for, for watching and hopefully you enjoyed. Let me run over a few things that I added to make it kind of unique. I added the front porch light, maybe some buttons to give it like a look like it has nails. I added a fireplace terraformed a yard, gave it a river, some trees, and a couple flower pots. So if you guys enjoyed, please rate it, comment, and maybe like and subscribe if you enjoyed.